Good morning, Pisces. How are you doing? It is no Monday, November the 28th at 312. So I'm a little late. So I'm going to jump into your reading. Okay, let's jump into your reading. All right. I must have been sleeping good. Yes. All right. All right, let's see what the spirits got to say. I'm asking the spirits to come in and help me do this reading. I hope that everybody has woken up. Well, I know you're not woke at this time, but when you wake up, please don't forget to thank God for opening your eyes, okay? Just for opening your eyes. That's all you got to say. Thank you. Okay? So, let's see. So, okay, so you always know that I always put my evil signs up. All right, so here we go. Now, I'm asking the spirits to please come in and help me do this reading. Okay, here we go. Let's find out what the spirits want to say. All right. It says, listen, bitch, there is no such thing as the right time. Trust yourself to do it. There is no such thing as the right time. Trust yourself to do it. Okay. Oh, my palms are itching. What that mean? All right. So let's move along with the reading. Let me shuffle these cards. And let's find out what this is going to be all about. I'm shuffling. Let me give it one more shuffle. And there you go. All right, spirits, tell me what Pisces need to know. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Oops. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Show me, Pisces. Okay. So, it says the King of Swords. Oh, my God. <clears throat> now, listen to this. The King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So somebody wants to come in with fast communication. But um, this person is very knowledge. He thinks very logical. Things got to make sense. Remember, this person can be um, a kind of person that... Um, Maybe you uh, don't, like somebody that's been around but comes in and out very quickly, all right? Now, the card that you pick is this, there's no such thing the, as the right time. Trust yourself to do it, okay? So... The king of swords. They always in their thought. They come in with the truth. Um, they um, they think uh, it's like um, they got a ways to think out the abilities to think out logical um. In a rational way, okay? But it's like somebody's coming in here and they're coming fast in with some type of communication. Remember that this King of Swords, um, not only that, they very hard for you to understand, can be loyal, right? Likes to speak the truth to you. But sometimes can be hard on you because 
they don't know what it is to, okay, I shouldn't say they don't know what it is to love, but this person wears their heart on their sleeve. This person uh, can be like to see things their way. So somebody that could be, um, can care, but they come in and out of your life. This person is kind of hard for, for them to stay one place. This person is not really the kind of person that likes to be in a commitment, in a relationship, okay? They really don't. They like to live alone. Um, this person um, take things to heart. Like, they will talk about the same thing over and over. They love to hang out, all right? They love hanging out. Um, they could be very flirty. Um, can have a lot of different, see a lot of different people, but be sneaky about it, okay? Um, so this person wants to come in your life, but remember, this person likes to leave too quick. They don't like to stay too long, and they like to have secretive women, a lot of friends, a lot of people that they may have relationship and I'm not going to say relationship because I don't consider this person in relationship they like to like have people or women in their life that they see and then they on a relationship on a sexual way okay um this and if this person likes you they really like you but they like to come in and out like this person lives a free spirit life. They like to go and come and do what they want to do. All right. This person also can say things to you that you don't like. All right. Yes. It's like they speak and, but they like to, um, tell you how they feel. Um, but sometimes it's a lot of pointing fingers. They don't like pointing at themselves, but they will point their fingers, and it's always about one thing that stays on their mind that you probably said or did, okay? Um, I don't know if you got two different energies because then the king of cup shows up. So this may be you or maybe another man, okay? Somebody wants to communicate with you. It seems like it's two people that are very laid back and really don't like to speak a lot. Um, You got somebody here that, and both of these people, they may show the, the King of Cups um, very quiet, laid back. Also, somebody that doesn't really express their emotions, all right? Um, the difference between the King of Swords and the King of Cup is you may get a lot more from the King of Cup than you get from the King of Cup, uh, uh, King of Swords. The King of Cup is somebody that shows you love, um, but very laid back. Also, uh, women are drawn to this King of Cup. So you got two people that are like sort of players, right? But one, but one shows you they care. Now this, I feel like there's two energies here. Now this King of Cup can also represent you. Okay? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. These two kings here. Tell me more. But I see that this, you, I don't know, for some reason. Oh, oh no. So you got two different energies. All right. The page of pinnacles. Somebody young, always counting their money, always counting their pennies. This can be the king of cup. Act very childish. Every dime that they spend, they want to know where it goes to. All right. 
But this King of Cup is trying to come back in a different way. This King of Cup looked like they saving money. Um, for some reason, things are looking up a little bit good for them. Uh, this King of, I mean, <clears throat> this Page of Pentacles also may live with their families. Okay. So one of these kings look like they live with their family. Um, then you got the Ace of Cup. Somebody wants to come and offer you something pretty big. The beginning of a romance. Um, during, around Christmas. Um, somebody wants to offer you this money. This person may act very childish also. Bringing you news about money could be too. Um, um, falling in love with the feeling of being in love. A new concept. Okay. A new concept is here. So you have the king of swords and the king of cup. The king of cup is feeling within your heart. Feel, <clears throat> feels, feelings within your heart. The page of <clears throat> pinnacles is a new path that somebody wants to come your way. The ace suggests something new. They want to bring this new love to you. But you got the queen of pinnacles here. This is how I know you either got two different energies around you. Two men, but one of these men are a piece of work more than the other. But then when you look at it, you got a pair here. You got the king and the queen. But it looks like, I don't know if these two people, these two kings look like, what, the king of sword like they coming to you with some kind of fast communication. The King of Cup is looking at the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is looking at the King of Cups with this fast communication. And I don't know what the fuck that means, but you got. And I don't know if this person, both of them are immature, but they both are in love with you. And um Also, all right, so you got two kings here, right? But you also, these two people can also probably be seeing somebody younger than you and you. But it shows like you the one with these, with these, with this big fucking cup of love. And somebody acts young. Or either these two men are looking at seeing two younger women than you. Or they might, or you might be younger than them, whatever it is. But it's two people here. Two men, and then it's two women. But you the one that got all the love to give. And they come in with this young ass money. Young money means um Somebody that is starting off just counting their money and um, making sure all their money's there. Got a plan to come to you, but they got to execute this plan right. Come right. This person also may, um, if you're married to this person, it looks like they want to offer you money to, and money can buy love. Something like that. All right. They always throw money at you. To keep you quiet. One of these kings. All right. But you the one that's got this love. This brand new love to offer somebody. Okay. Something new is starting. And it shows you. With the cups. But it don't show you. With neither one of these people. And one of these people. Is not good for you at all. At all. Okay. Spirits tell me more about what. Pisces need to know. Tell me more about, and it's also telling you to watch your spending. 
be careful with your spending. All right. Um. Tell me more. Tell me more. This King of Cups is seeking information, and they think you're seeing someone else. Um, this King of Cups is also coming fast, and they're coming fast with their swords up. While this King, I mean, this King of Swords doing that, the King of Cups is sitting there holding a cup. But I don't know. I guess Pisces, you you got to choose. Um, if you got two people, uh. Somebody said it's really immature. They count everything they give. But you the one that's offering this big cup. Somebody here is a hot mess. Now, check this out. You got the king of cup. The, I mean, the king of swords, the king of cup. The knight of pentacles. Listen to this. The knight of pentacles. The ace of cup. The ace, the queen of cups, and now you got the king of pentacles. Damn. Shit, Pisces. You doing it like that? You got, if you wait just a little bit longer and have the patience, right, for what's coming to you, this king of cups look like they, they working something to get you. But you got two kings here that's probably already in your life. That neither one of them is what you want. Neither one of them is what you want. Right? Because you got this, this page of pinnacles making sure they land the blue, the, like something laid out for you. All right? And they ain't moving fast. This person comes slow. Well, I mean, very slow. And this person's laying the grounds for you to offer you. Something, this big ass cup, but you just ready to give this cup to the right person. But it got to be the right person. And if you wait a little bit longer, a little bit longer, hold on Pisces. You're going to meet this person that's going to give you everything you ever wanted. Everything you ever wanted. And Pisces, I'm going to say something to you. Check this out. And all three of these people are different. And this person may be different than you, biracial or from a different country or um, different nationality. All three of these kings look different. Every one of them. All right? So if you got two people, then neither one of them are the person that you're going to be with. Neither one of them are. Because if you wait just a little bit longer, God is going to give you everything you want. But you got to be patient. And you may think this is never going to happen. But believe me, it's going to happen because God is working it for you so that you can get what you want. But you got to have patience. And that's probably something you don't know. Like you're, it's like, is it going to really happen? Yes, it is. And it ain't neither one of these people that um, this person might be a brand new person. It ain't somebody you know. Okay? It really ain't. But these two people in your life or whoever's there, you know these people. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But you don't know this Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Somebody's coming here brand new, and they got everything to offer you. Everything. Okay? You got the love, and they got everything else to give you. It's like you got the Ten of Cups, and they got the Ten of Coins. That's the perfect match. But you got to wait a little bit longer for what's coming your way. Just have patience with yourself, okay? If you have patience with yourself, you want, you're going to want to get what you've been wanting. But it ain't these two people in your life. Whoever's there, it ain't them. With this king of swords and this king of cups, and this king of swords wanting to come say something to you, 
moving fast and just as fast as they move, as fast as they move out. Like this person comes with a lot, right? Um, also, um, you know everything about both of these people. You keeping everything to yourself. I feel like Pisces, you're very in tune. And I just feel like neither one of these people can give you anything you want. It's like you've been there and done that. Okay? You are very smart. You know, you know that. You've been there. It's like you're so familiar with these two people. All right? And the shit that they come with and the stuff that they do to you. All right? Like, they, this, these two people are not for you. I mean, like, they just like to show up, but they leave. All right? The one thing I will say about the King of Cups, the King of Cups also moves slow, right? Um, but you got this King of Swords that wants to move in quickly, and then you got this King of Cups that's, um, they move slow, they talk slow, they act slow, and it's like they come with this love, but it's slow. You got this King of Cups to come in talking a lot of craziness. But they don't know how to express themselves because they wear their heart on their sleeves. But you got this King of Cups that can express themselves, can show you how they feel. But it's like you've been with these two people that it's not even what you want. You What you want is someone to be like you. Okay, and these two people ain't got what it takes. They really don't. But it's like they, they come back. It's like the past always wants to come back. But they don't really, it's like you've been there and done that. It's like that's old to you. And then you got these two people that can have other people in their lives. And they act like they don't. But whatever floats their boat is where they act. So it's like there's a a a a, a, a sword, a man, the king of swords. That this person may have a lot of friends that they hang out with and sleep with, right? But they want you, and I see why because you look like you very well put together. And this king of cup, and this king of sword wants to come in quick. This king of cup is. Probably, you know, don't move quickly. You know, ain't they 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 reminisce about the love, but they don't move quick into your life. So you got somebody that just Gemini Libra I mean, uh, yeah, Gemini Libra Aquarius that like to move in and out of your life, and then you got Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer that is kind of laid back and they do things quietly. Right, which king of swords move in and out. But Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, they do they move smoothly, all right, and quietly. All right. The king of sword comes, yeah, 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 yeah. No, all right. But you know everything about both of these people. Did you know they ain't really worth your time? It's like these two people are all news to you, not new, and you're looking for the new. And somebody here is watching you or whoever this person is. They got their shit together. They don't move fast. They come to give you everything you want. But you got this big ass cup that you give an offer to this king of pentacles that has everything you want. So you got the ace of cup and this man is planning on moving to you. And they plan is perfectly planned. It's not a bullshit plan, okay? All right, now. So, and now you, as the king, the queen, I mean, the highest priest, you know everything about the past. You know that shit. You know how these people move, all right? But if somebody here 
that is coming that you don't know that's been there or been, you know, they moving real, real slow. I mean, you probably haven't even met this person yet, but very, very slow. Okay. Tell me more. This emperor, Pisces. This emperor, very fiery, okay? Um, now, if I could say you got all the kings in your reading, all four of them. Now, the highest priests know that how this emperor can be. Remember, this emperor got a sore. A sore. Look at that. And a wand. So, when you see this king of sore and this king of cups, but this king of sore is coming fast at you, and then you see the emperor, they looking at you. But they know that you're very smart. But they seem like they can figure you out. Okay? Now this emperor moves around like a bird, honey. They they move around. Alright? They get around. And but they're very spiritual too. Okay? Um, they looking at you, honey. They are looking at at you. All right. This is a boss, a leader, somebody that knows what they want. Uh a natural born leader. All right. Um, this person can have um uh can be a fire sign but have uh air in them, a lot of air. Okay. They looking at you. This emperor got their eyes on you. Okay, but very bossy, very controlling. Um, it, and I feel like this is this Aquarius is just like a lot more than this. This Aquarius more than this King of Cups. All right, this Aquarius is too much. All right, tell me more about this. Um. Knight of Pentacles with this big ass cup with this Queen of Cups. Tell me more. And this is the now. It's like you you know a lot about these people that want to come in your life. This used to be in your life, in your past. It's like you not allowing these people to play with you or try to manipulate you. It's like you know how they move, okay? You know exactly how they move. And that's what they don't like, that you know how they move. All right? Now, you are being, wherever you are, you're moving to calmer waters. All right? It looks to me like wherever you're going, either you're traveling by boat, airplane, or car. But it seems like somebody wants to move. And they don't want somebody to know when they move or how they move. But when you get to where you're going, you're going to be happy. You're going to be acknowledged for everything you do. Okay? For everything you do. It's like wherever you're going to get to that you're going to meet this or this person is waiting to meet you. Or whatever you're going to move to. Or whatever it's going in your life. You're going to be meeting a new person. There's a new person. But I don't think you met this new person. Okay. But I know that you know these two people from your past. Very well. And Pisces. Nobody keeps their secret. Like you. So when this these two people. In your past think that they can play games with you. They can't. Because they can't get over on you. Because you've been where they at many times before they even got there. 
you also got this Knight of Wands. All right? Whoever this person is, they want to... Not only are they, you know, watching you, you move into somewhere or you either a job or a move in a house or traveling, whatever it is, or moving somewhere where it's going to be, where you're calm in your life, all right? You're moving to where it's going to be calm. Um, You're taking a trip. You're going somewhere. You're being acknowledged for the moves that you're making in your life. For whatever move that you're making, you're being acknowledged for what you do. You got this Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is taking on um, being very creative, doing things in a way that it's been done many times, but the way you're doing it, you make it seem like it's so laid back. And it's like, um, it's coming to you, all right? It's, it's moving. You got movement here. You got boats, horses, all right? You must live in, like, where it's mountains, all right? Um, you're ready to conquer whatever it is that's coming your way. But it seems like it's a lot of movements going here. A lot of movement. In your life. That you're going to start seeing. Tell me about this king of pentacles. Mm, 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 mm. This king of pentacles. Okay. I, I feel like you've. Been hurt. Right. You've been hurt. People hurt you in many ways, Pisces. This King of Pentacles look like they've been hurt. All right. But because you and him been hurt, like the source is up. Like you're like, I'm not going to let nobody else come in my life and do to me what these two people from my past did to me. Okay. This King of Swords and this King of Cup. Um, but, you know, but it's like you are being very protected over your heart because both of y'all are. This king of pentacles and this queen of swords is like you're holding up your swords. You're being very protective. And I feel like both of y'all been in a situation where somebody cheated on y'all. All right. But then you get the will and I love this damn will. Because somebody is falling the fuck off the wheel. All right? And it's going to be two people left. See this here? It's a third party. Right? And somebody is going to fall off this wheel. Because the universe is handling this. This reminds me of the tower. Somebody got to go. And... Whoever is going to be left, it's going to be like, you're going to be happy with this person. But somebody's got them. And how about this? Not only are they falling off the wheel, they falling off the cliff. That's crazy. And when this happens, this wheel, and all of these pain that y'all been through, two people, you get the world. A completion satisfaction what you wanted what this person wanted what you wanted okay so this person that you may meet is going been through the same thing you've been through all right and i feel like the universe is telling you just have patience it may take a little bit longer but it's going to be worth it because it's not like what you had in your past this person's been through the same things you've been through. Everything you've been through, this person's been through. Okay? Um, everything. But it's like this person wants to have a, a life with you. And they're going to be good for you. Okay? And, and it's all happening as you're making this transformation. As you're moving forward. Alright? As you're leaving... 
people that are not worth your time. They just want to come in and out and want to sit there and let you figure them out. Yeah, you're right. You got them all figured out. This person is very sarcastic. Can also be a boss at his job. Can um, be a supervisor. Um, can be a leader. But very bossy. Very controlling. Okay? Wants to see things their way. The life of the party. Um, it's like they like the party. Okay? And, and But you know both of their secrets. Tell me more what this emperor is talking about. And the highest priest is here. Okay? Seeing everything for what it is. So you got a highest priest and the emperor. But it ain't nobody bigger than the highest priest. Okay? Tell me. There's an ending that's going to be to all the bullshit you've been through. And what what the ending is the beautiful transformation. Okay? A beautiful transformation. And that's what you need. And this got butterflies. It got birds. It got hearts. It's like when this, when this finish, all of this shit that you've been through finish. All right? This is the, the most beautiful ending that you ever experienced because it's like everything after this ending when you finish with the bullshit with these two people that ain't nothing but it's not for you once you walk away from both of these people you're going to be transformed into everything it's like you born again and you got love coming to you but you got to let go of two people that's been in your life, and it's neither one of them are worth it. Very bossy, all right? And one of them can be in the military, in the army, a police. Um, whatever they are, they in authority. And the other one is very laid back, but neither one of them are worth your time, okay? You got a water sign and an air sign, and, and you got the emperor. Like, they think they shit don't stay. Tell me about this. Knight of Wands and Pisces is a lot of movement here. Tell me about this movement that Pisces is moving uh, away from. Like, what is this big move that you're making that you're going to be happy about? You're going to be creative about whatever is going on in your life. You know, um, it's something here that you are going to make you very happy, but it seems like you. Moving on to common waters and actually probably traveling. And the world means traveling the world too. So somebody maybe want to take you on a lot of vacations. And maybe they're not from this country. Okay. All right. So tell me more about what is going on with Pisces in this night of wands. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Temperance. It needs to be ba it, it needs to be balanced in your life. Remember to learn to have balance. Okay. So, but you're happy as hell. I never seen a big smile on your face. It's like the cup that you pour is going to bring you a rose, like you're growing. The cup that's sitting up is telling you you're full of fire. You're full of creativity at this moment. I feel like you you leaving a situation is going to bring you a completion in every level in your life. But you got to leave something for good. It's two people. You got to close the door. The chapter. And then this temperance is like things is going to be firing up for you and things are going to be growing for you because now you know how to balance your life. Okay, tell me about this world, just, just two people meeting up and been through the same thing, and you got the will of fortune and the world here, it's like you got this shit popping off, and you got the king of pentacles, and the queen of love, damn, 
But both of y'all been through a lot. Okay? The Five of Cups. Now, Pisces. Whoever this person is. Right? You got three candles. You turn off the candles. You blew out the candles. But don't forget that you still got two candles behind you. And even though you've been through all of this shit with people, you if you just learn that everything you've been through was for a, to teach you a lesson. But God is saying, even though you're burning out these candles and making a wish, because you got your eyes closed here, it's like a wish come true to you because you're still going to have two candles lit. Even though these are, you blowing them out, you still got two candles lit. And somebody might be burning candles outside like me. And the universe is bearing witness of these candles that are lit and that you burn them out. It's almost like you're making a wish on your cake because of everything you've been through. You've been through a lot. It's like you're turning off the candles and you're saying, I'm done with it. But the universe wants you to know that you still got two candles lit in the back. And you need to look at it. It's like everything is there. And even though you've been through a lot, so has this person. Right? Everything you've been through is the same thing they've been through. And it's like... Go ahead and blow them candles out. Make your wish because you still got two candles there. All right? Don't miss out on this opportunity. All right? Tell me more about this five of, of um, cups. Tell me more about this five of cups. The king of cups. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Damn, you got the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Well, I guess you're going to have to make a decision about this. Because it seems like this King of Cups, from this King of Cups, is not wanting to leave. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Oh, Lord. Oh. <sighs> Mm -mm -mm. You got the empress here, and this empress is pulling somebody towards them. Look at you. And it's a in this news, it's I don't know if this is an air sign. It's Pisces, get it right. Look, with this king, this queen of swords is like you know the truth. You're waiting to get the truth. You're the empress. You you giving birth to some, but you waiting to get the truth from this king of cups. You got somebody that's coming, bringing balance to your life, just like the um tempers. It's gotta be it's gotta be a give and take with this king of cups. Oh Lord. I don't know, for some reason, this person, I don't know, it, they, it's like, it's a, a crazy attachment here. It's like being changed to a person that you already know of, that you seeking the truth for them. Reminds me, it's like this emperor, it's like this, this, I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if this, you got history with this King of Cups, all right? But you're seeking the truth, but then look at this. They want forgiveness. They want to, this is the Three of Swords. They want forgiveness. So you got somebody that loves you that's coming in, that's 
put together. But for some reason, this King of Cups keeps showing up. And it's like you seeking everything, some information, the truth. But you're the emperor. Oh, my God. It's like it's an emperor and an empress. You got a cup. But this emperor is looking at someone else or two, two. Okay, this emperor is looking at the past and this king of swords looking at the present. You got every damn king in your deck. Every king. But this king, this queen of swords is looking out information about this king of cups. Okay, but this king of cups and you've been through some hard times. In a very devilish way, you are connected to this person. In a very devilish way, you came. Just in this, look at this sword. It's like this king of swords want to bury whatever they did in this cup. Because now they know what this feels like. It's like this person feels like they are connected to you. And they can't let go. And they want to come and bring balance to this. You got a lot of twists and turns to your reading. But it's a lot of people. It's like you got a lot of, a lot of men interested in you. But a lot of people from your past want to stay in your life. When you got something new coming on. If you stop dealing with the past, you'll make room for the new. And I just heard something go right through my ears. Oh my God. If you stop letting, if you stop letting or letting these people from the past in and out of your life, you can make room for what you are getting, which is what you want. Something settled, something that can love you, that can have everything right going on. Okay? Because I feel like you, whatever it is, it's like you connected to the past and in a crazy way. And it's like two people. Or these people are connected to you. But you got one person here. This king of sword is like trying to bury everything. And put it in a cup. All they. All they. Um, <coughs> all of these women they had in their lives. They want them, They want you. But they play us honey. One thing I know. Both of these. These king of cups. And this King of Swords, they are players. And you see it, but they trying to give up everything for you. All right? But if you wait a long, little longer, you're going to get what you want. And you don't have to deal with this bullshit. All right, Pisces? Um, It's like two people drawing the line. You got the Five of Swords. This sword guy just, oh my God, they want to draw the line. Look, they want to bring boundaries. They want to be at peace with you. They don't want to fight. They want to say, let's not cross this line again. I don't know, Pisces, you got some Somebody that is so connected to you. They wants to bring balance to this whole thing. You got a lot of different energies here in your reading. A lot of energies. A lot of, a lot of suitors, Sonny. A lot of damn suitors. All right. All right, Pisces. This air sign look like they, are, they don't want to go nowhere. Nowhere. This cup is like all these people still are in and want to be around no matter what. Pisces, please have a little bit patient, more patient, because you got some real good shit coming. If you just have patience, you got a lot of people in your life. People want to come back to all the new. It's a lot of things going on. Okay? If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.